guys, welcome to day 50. All you need today is one slider and a set of medium to heavy weights. I've got 15s today. So take your feet a little bit wider than hip width apart, squat, give me a little booty kick. So bring those heels all the way up to the butt. We wanna warm up those hamstrings, warm up your quadriceps, and get that booty red to gut. All right, you're gonna squat with a knee lift. Knee, squat, knee. Now, if you feel like you're really tight and need to spend a good two to three minutes, you know, doing step back lunges or a few more squats, go right ahead. You can pause the video and then get right back into it with me, okay? So, you need the one slider for side slide lunges and also for a back slide forward bend lunge. So, you're like, what does that even mean? You'll find out pretty soon. And stop right there. Let's go ahead and grab that slider. And make sure you pick up your weights with a flat back, core tight, and put it underneath that right foot. We're gonna slide to your right. Down, push through the heel, and then come straight back up. So make sure that foot is directly in the center of that slider, so it's not going anywhere. And you slide out with your toe, but you land with your heel when you go down, okay? And I'm not going down going out as far because I don't want to lose this slider and then do the splits. So you want to keep that groin and inner thigh protected so you don't have to go as far over. What's real important here is pushing through that heel and making sure that the knee is in line with your ankle. It should not be over your toe. I'm just going to turn to the side to show you. So the booty goes back, core stays tight, and then come back up. Pushing down in the heel. Bring it back up. Last one. Let's do one more. Started late and down. Nice job. Put down your weight out of the way. Move the slider right into stance jacks. Now, if you need to modify, you can do this. Otherwise, you go jump in and jump out. Reaching for your opposite toe. Pulling your abs in. Remember that form. Your booty goes back. Your back stays flat. Chest stays lifted. Last one. All right, pick up your weights again. You know what to do. We gotta do the other side. Woo! Who loves leg day? All right, here we go. Down and come back up. Make sure the foot is centered so the balls of those feet are right in the middle of that slider. So when you push down on your heel, it is not touching the slider. Make sure the shoulders are back and down. Abs pulled in. Remember, you don't have to go as far over. Make sure the weights are just right on either side of the knee. Maybe a little bit lower if you have the flexibility for it. Again, from the side. Booty goes back. And I would recommend if you have a mirror, go ahead and use that mirror. Check yourself out. And make sure everything's lined up. Is your knee in line with your ankle? Are your shoulders not rounded? They're back and down. Booty out. Hope so. All right, put down the weights. Move the slider so you're not gonna get hurt. Stance jacks. Here we go, in and out. Those legs do not get a break today. It's Friday. We might as well push. Right? Come on. Nobody's gonna do your workout for you. It's all you, baby. So show up, do your best. And then forget the rest. Just like Tony says. And it's all right. Alright. Weights again. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and put it underneath. Let's put it underneath that right foot. I'm just gonna turn to the side to show you what this move looks like. We're going to lunge back. But it's more of a deadlift lunge. You're hinging forward and you're going straight back up. So my back stays flat. It's almost like a lunge slash deadlift. I've got 80% of my weight in that left foot. So if the slider is underneath your right toe, the leg that's doing all the work should be the one that's standing. Woo! Make sure that you're really pushing back through those heels. Core is tight. Booty goes way back. Where are your shoulders? Back and down, right? I hope so. Oh my goodness. I'm feeling it. Can you get a little bit lower with that lunge? Down, slide back up. All right, 
Move the weights, move the sliders. It's dance jacks. Three, two, one. Right into it. Told you those legs are gonna be work today. If you wanna make this a full workout, you may wanna do just three sets. Because four sets with medium to heavy weights is a lot of work for those muscles. So if you're ready for it, do it three times. Otherwise, one set's good. All right, here we go. Gotta go to the other, other leg. Put it underneath that left toe. And turn to the side. Shoulders back and down, pull your abs in. Push that leg back and then bend that front knee. And then straighten that front knee to bring it back. Whew. Difficult move. Form is important here. Again, if you're not ready for those weights, this is still a great workout to do without weights. Trust me, you're still gonna feel it. I know my balance exercises, my balance muscles are really going off right now. I can feel it in my inner thigh. I'm trying to keep oh, that weight in the heel. And then your glutes and hamstrings are working together. Pushing through the heel to come back up. Oh my goodness, you feel it? Ooh. Shoulders back and down. Last one. Put it down those weights. Back flat as you do it. You know what it is, here we go. Down and up. Reach for that toe. How is your form? Is your booty back? Is your core tight? Are you breathing? Hope you are. Otherwise you'd be passed out on the ground by now. Whew. We're getting stronger. We are not getting weaker. Last one. Ah! Session complete. Who loves that? The end of the workout when you hear that? Good job, you guys. Whew. Thanks for joining me. So proud of you. Thanks for pushing play, doing this workout with me. Awesome work. Two weeks left in our summer hit challenge. So keep rocking this with me every day. Even just seven minutes a day. You got time for seven minutes. All right. Love you guys. I'll see you Monday.